Today we are going to discuss ways to sort objects. Before we begin, let's take a look at a few objects. Here I have three objects. We know that this is an apple, this is a pencil, and this is a ball. But how could you tell someone what they are without using their names? We could use describing words. People describe objects in many ways using size, shape, color, and texture. This is called the object's property. A property describes how an object looks, feels, or acts. For example, we can describe the apple as red, round, and crunchy. We can describe the pencil as yellow, long, and thin. And we can describe the ball as orange, round, and bouncy. In our lesson today, we will be sorting a variety of objects based on their properties. First, we will focus on how the objects look, sorting by color and by shape. Then we will focus on how objects act, sorting by how they react to water, do they sink or do they float. So let's get started. Here is the first group of objects that we will be sorting today. In my tray, I have 18 Unifix cubes. As you can see, they are all the same size and shape. So what makes them different from each other? The color, of course. Some are green, some are yellow, and some are orange. For this sorting example, we will use a sorting mat with a green circle, a yellow circle, and an orange circle. To sort these cubes, we will place them one at a time into their corresponding color circle green with green, yellow with yellow, and orange with orange until they are all inside their color circle. The next group of items that we will be sorting today are in this bag of Cheerios snack mix. Let's scoop some out and see what they look like. As you can see, we have a variety of shapes within our snack mix. These cheese crackers look like triangles. These Cheerio cereal pieces look like circles. The Chex Mix looks like rectangles. And we have the familiar pretzel twist. Here is our sorting mat for this task. As you can see, it is divided into four sections, one for each shape in our snack mix. To sort our snack mix, we will place them one at a time into their corresponding section. Pretzels with pretzels, rectangles with rectangles, circles with circles, and triangles with triangles. Let's get started. The fun thing about sorting the Cheerio snack mix is that when we get done, we get to eat something. In this sorting activity, we will be observing how objects react to water, sorting them by whether they sink or float. Let's take a look at our objects. On my tray, I have a wooden spoon, a crayon, a ping pong ball, three clear stones, a plastic letter M with a magnet on the back, a wooden block, a piece of chalk, two keys, a pair of sunglasses, one Unifix cube, and a metal spoon. Here is my sorting chart. As I put each object in the water, I will observe its reaction and mark the corresponding column sink or float. Let's move over to the water table. Here we are at the water table. Let's start with the wooden spoon. The wooden spoon floats. What about the keys? The keys sank to the bottom. 
Next, let's try the sunglasses. They sink to the bottom too. Now let's try the wooden cube. results. As you can see, the metal spoon sank, the wooden block floated, the crayon sank, the keys sank, the Unifix cube floated, the clear stones sank, the sunglasses sank, the ping pong ball floated, the chalk sank, the letter M, even though it went down some, it still floated a little bit, so I marked it in the floated column, and the wooden spoon floated.